Hi everyone, Miss Gady here. I'm gonna go through the course expectations for the grade nine math course. Uh, there were four main topics that we covered. Uh, number sense and algebra, linear relations, analytic geometry, and measurement and geometry. And I'm gonna go through each of these on the next four slides in a little bit more detail. So in number sense and algebra, we talked about adding and subtracting polynomials, multiplying and dividing monomials, expanding and simplifying polynomial expressions and rearranging all um, formulas. So that was the, the algebra unit that we just finished. Linear relations um, was the was the um, the unit where we collected data um, and then we use that data to construct tables of values and create graphs and then we added lines of best fit to those graphs and then we looked at different trends and potential relationships, right? So using interpolation to look within the data and extrapolation outside that data um, to make predictions. And then we looked at um, the difference between partial and direct variation. So direct variation was um, if your line starts at zero, zero, um, and then partial variation was if your line starts somewhere else on the y-axis. The third topic, is analytic geometry and that's when we looked at the equation of a line of um, the equation of a straight line in a little bit more detail there's two different versions there's y equals mx plus b and um, the second version is ax plus bx uh, plus by plus c which we're we're going to look at in the last unit uh, we looked at all the different versions of slope so you should know that slope is um, rise over run or you can write it as delta y over delta x, which means the differences in the y's over the differences in the x's. The third version was y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So using two different points to find that equation. Uh, properties of slopes of lines. Uh, so is what, what is the direction of your of your line, right? Is it going up to the right, which means it's positive? Is it going down to the right, which means it'd be a negative slope? The, the uh, steepness of your of your line, how steep is it? Um, and then parallelism and perpendicularity we haven't done yet. We'll take a look at that on, in the next couple of weeks. And then uh, you need to make sure that you know how to graph lines using slope and y-intercept or x and y-intercept, and then determine the equation of a line from all the different possibilities. So you could be given slope and y-intercept or slope and a point or even two points. And then describe the meaning of the slope and its y-intercept within, within a word problem. Explain the point of intersection of two lines in a word problem. So the point of um, intersection of two lines is, is a topic that we haven't covered yet either. So we're, we're doing part two of this analog geometry as our last unit in the course. And then the fourth topic is measurement and geometry, and that's what we started the course off with, if you remember. We looked at um, some optimization. So the, what is the maximum area of a rectangle given, uh, the, given the perimeter, or determine the minimum perimeter given, given a, an area. We looked at what the Pythagorean theorem was, um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So it's used to find the length of, a, of a, uh, what, one of the sides in a triangle, in a right angle triangle. Uh, and then you might remember we did an experiment in class where we looked at um, what the volume of a, of a pyramid is in respect to a rectangular prism with the same base and the same height. So the volume of a pyramid is always a third volume of the rectangular prism. And the same thing goes for the cone. Um, the volume of a cone would be one third of a cylinder with the same base and the same height. And then we also looked at um, some geometry of, of angles, um, the relationship between the interior and the exterior angles in triangles, quadrilaterals, and other polygons. And that was it. Those are the four main topics. So make sure that you touch on at least one of those when you are creating your passion project.